The government has published its response to the Home Affairs Select Committee inquiry into firearms laws in the UK. It has potentially a huge impact on shooting. I asked Bill Harriman, BASC's Director of Firearms, for his first reactions. I think that it's measured, it's proportionate, and the government has very clearly thought about what it wants to say, and it has rejected the sillier proposals and endorsed those which will bring universal benefit. One of the big issues has been the uh, possibility of tightening up the criteria for shotgun licensing. What does the government say? That's the issue that really gave us the greatest cause for concern. It's a bit of an old chestnut. Everybody seems to think that because there is a difference between sporting rifles and shotguns, that the shotgun regime is somehow lax. It isn't. It's actually the most efficient part of the licensing system because it concentrates on people rather than firearms. One of the big issues debated both at Westminster and in the media was about young people and the ability for them to shoot under supervision, to learn to shoot safely and responsibly. How has the government reacted? Well, the government has reiterated its support for young people taking part in sports shooting and has said that there is no need for any change. However, it's, all, it's suggested that age limits are complicated and need to be looked at, and if consensus can be found between interested parties, then it would look at adopting any proposed regime that had universal agreement. There's been a lot of debate also about medical records and the relationship between the applicant, the police and the GP. Uh, are we going to see increased medical checks? No, the government rejected outright as it being disproportionate that there should be compulsory medical checks for people who are applying to have their certificates renewed or for the grant of a certificate. There is some debate as to whether or not there ought to be a letter sent by the police to a certificate holder's GP once a certificate has been granted. We've been discussing this with the British Medical Association and ACPO for the last three months and it's still an ongoing process. There was debate too surrounding what's known as the Canadian system of licensing whereby a domestic partner or even ex-partner might be required to give a reference for a shotgun or a firearms application. Um, what, what's said about that? The Home Office is going to look at this and there are already very, very strong concerns that the alleged 40% in the reduction in violence that this is said to have caused in Canada can't be determined by proper cause and effect and caution has been urged in looking at whether or not this is an effective system. And of course air guns uh, were dragged into this debate, but the government has come out and said there should be no further restrictions. Yes, that's very welcome. The government has said there's no evidence of misuse and that it intends to target those in the minority who do misuse air weapons, and we're delighted by that. And one of the other issues has uh, been that of fees. That's how much is paid for uh, license grants and renewals. Uh, the police in particular have been pushing for a rather large increase. What's the government got to say about that? Well, the government says there's to be a working group on the issue of fees, and BASC will be part of that group. Our stance is that if firearms licensing is so important, then the police needs to put its house in order and give proper allocation of resources to see that it's done properly. There are a lot of contacts that I make with colleagues in the licensing world who tell me that they are understaffed, under-resourced and they feel like the poor relation. There will be a consultation on fees and BASC will be involved in it.